Hello everybody, this is Lincoln Pereira and I hope that you've already received your first assignment specifications on creating database dictionary tables and I expect you must have already started doing some of them, right? So um, in this video, I'm going to talk to you briefly about creating database objects such as database element, data elements, domains and database tables in the SAP ABAP dictionary. Now you must be wondering that with so much of material and so many videos available online, do we really need another video on this concept? So um, I really don't know the answer to that whether you need a, another video or not but I do know that this video is going to be part of my step-by-step -step SAP ABAP course which of course is a free course and um, if you have already subscribed to this course then you must have already received the assignments that I am sending and I'll keep sending but um, if you have not subscribed for this course then I would recommend you do so by clicking the link that I'm going to put in the comment section below or you could even subscribe to my blog which is www. Uh, beginners-sap.com okay all right so uh, guys another thing before i start uh, with the with demonstrating how to create a table i would also want to tell you that you know watching this video or watching videos and learn reading material is good uh, but it's like you know trying to learn to swim by watching uh, somebody else swim see you cannot do that you have to actually get into the water you know get wet if you want to swim right you want to learn to swim similarly you have to do these assignments by yourself if you want to master the technical stuff, okay, in SAP. All right, another thing is, you know, another question is if you have seen the assignments, we are talking about eight dictionary tables. So eventually we will be creating eight data dictionary tables and of course we will be creating uh, maintenance screens for some of them and upload data. But the point is why eight tables? Um, and, and I agree that SAP is an ERP, so there are a large number of tables in SAP. But we are only, uh, well, I, I don't want you to, you know, just concentrate on data dictionary tables and forget the rest. So um, we are going to restrict ourselves to these eight tables. We'll learn how to develop them. We'll populate data, uh, data into those tables. And then once we understand the business functionality, right, then we will be able to write uh, programs on those, on that data much better. So that's why, you know, to limit the scope of this, uh, of this course, I have selected only eight tables, which people are quite familiar with you know so so it will be easy to grasp the knowledge and go further from there okay so with that said guys let's move on to this uh, to this demonstration and uh, to do that first of all we will have to i'll quickly pull up the assignment assignment number one i'll just walk you through that assignment and then um, i'll demonstrate how to do this in the system okay Okay friends, so I have opened the assignment document and it's here right in front of me and like as you can see this document is actually the first version of the assignment uh, specifications. So it has only 20 pages and around two um, database uh, or two assignments actually. Um, uh, but uh, like I said, this is a growing document and I'm going to keep adding assignments to it. So I don't know by the time you watch this video you and you download the assignment series, you may already have all the assignments added to this document. Okay. But to, for starters, we are only starting with two assignments. Okay, so you can go through all these pages, but the important thing here is, um, like I told you, we are actually in this uh, assignment, right? We are, or in this course, we are going to create a database for student information systems. And like I said, there's already a standard uh, module by SAP called uh, Student Lifecycle Management. Um, but this is a very tiny subset or in fact I have taken an idea from that and um, just looking at the tables you will understand what we are trying to do here. We have eight tables, student, profile, course, class, enrollment, semester, teacher and room and um, like I said you by looking at this uh, thing I think you are roughly aware that this is basically how a student gets enrolled for a class. Um, and um, for more details, let's walk quickly through the ER diagram. Okay, so here is the ER diagram of the uh, of the system. So basically, you have the student table, and more information about the student is in the profile table. Uh, we also have the enrollment, which stores the semester for which the student is enrolled for a particular course, and the course is is held in a class, and the class, of course, is held in a room and there is a teacher who teaches the class okay so very briefly very quickly i think just looking at the er diagram you will understand what we are uh, trying to achieve here 
Mm, uh, but as as we proceed, you know, through the functional, uh, through the function specifications, you will come to know what we are expected to do on every step. So in this assignment sheet, actually, I have only released two assignments where we are starting to we're going to, from the basics. So we will actually develop the room table and we will develop the teacher table. Then slowly we will progress to uh, develop the student and the profile and the course table. And then finally, uh, and the semester table, and finally we will integrate everything to have the enrollment and the class. Okay, and then we will fill data into these tables, and then we'll re, uh, write reports on these tables. Okay, so um, like um, if you see, scroll down, and you see that this is the first assignment basically to create the data, uh, the the student, uh, sorry, the class, or sorry, the room table. And for that, we will need to create some domains and we'll also need to create some data elements. So that those specifications you can uh, quickly see here what, what is expected, uh, meaning why you are creating the domain and what domain is required. So the domain specification is there. Uh, the mouse is behaving a little bit weird. So, and this is the specification to create the uh, table, okay? so. So here, if you see, I have given every detail that is required. So you will need to have a table, the short description of the table, uh, the key um, data element, etc. And um, of course, you will have to create the data element, the domain, etc. And for those also, the specifications are provided here. Okay. So now that we have seen the um, assignment series, um, I will now walk you through creating one of these tables, which is the room table. Of course, it is the most simplest table. But once you are once you are aware how to create the room table, and some of you must have must be already aware. But once you are aware how to create the table, you can go ahead and complete all these assignments as as I keep sending them to you. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always come into our Facebook group, uh, which is um, Beginners Dash SAP, and ask whatever doubts you have in those in that group. Okay. All right. So let's let's move on to let me log in into the system and uh, let let me show you how to create the room uh, table. Uh, 